little turbulence. I know I'm looking rough. I just got out the house real quick to pick him up from work and to um, make a quick stop for him before we go home. But I think everything like in this world happens for a reason. I'm trying not to cry, but like, okay, so I'm parked in the parking lot and this guy from FedEx needed to um, get through. So I moved my car back and he jumps out the truck and he comes to the window and I roll it down and he said, what's this? What's this about? Why do you have this on? And I told him, I said, well, I have a rare lung disease. And he said, no, no, mm -mm, stop. No, no, you don't. He said, God, God has you. God created your lungs. And there's no disease in that. And he said, God got you. Do you hear me? You are healed. And it just really, I don't know why, but it just really touched me. It really, really, I needed it. I needed it. So, all right, I'm going to let y'all go because here come Cam. All right, y'all, I'm back. I'm sorry. I had to get myself together because when Cam got in the car, I really started crying. Um, My oxygen not on because I'm getting ready to go in the house. But, yeah, that was just amazing like what are the odds i was not even expecting it like i'm still in my my pjs or whatever so i just was going to pick him up he had a stop to make and come home and a lot of times he'll bring the work truck home or he'll catch a ride with his cousin or something like that and so he walking around moving around like old kinsley Oh, y'all can see. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna get out, go in the house and back to mom duties. Kennedy's got school still. Kinsley still gotta do her stuff and just back to life but i really feel like everything came together for a reason but i mean oh my god what are the odds that i was at the right place at the right time for the right person to see me to send me a message from god because i'm telling you guys like i have sometimes fear and nightmares and things going on inside of me that I don't showcase all the time you know because I want to keep like a positive attitude so that people can be comfortable people won't be sad people you know won't be afraid um so I won't be sad or afraid and but the you know the reality of this lung disease is not a pretty picture and so to um, just be a confirmation that I'm gonna be okay throughout whatever process comes in life. You know, I just really needed that today. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, I just really needed um, a message, a word, some encouragement, anything, you know? Cause I just, you know, People my age right now are being like my classmate. I guess I'm even more emotional. My classmate was murdered yesterday. And he was a really sweet guy. And I think that really got me. And like I said, my cousin passed away last week. And it's just, it's, it's been a lot for people dying around my age. <coughs> and then with this whole corona thing and you're all the stories about that so you know it's just been a lot this these last couple of weeks but to um for that guy to just wow to be in that you know to be like i said you just never know when how or where god is going to speak to you and who he's going to speak through to you because, like I said, usually Cam 
brings the work truck home or because since him and his cousin work together they they he'll catch a ride with him you know and this time i picked him up from work and he was like i gotta stop i gotta you know make a stop so it's just amazing y'all i'm gonna get off here get myself together so my you know i, I don't like for my girls to see me cry so get myself together if i go in the house but y'all just um just keep me lifted up <laughs> okay and i will see you guys later